is a welcome step and we welcome Dr. Kaji Azhar Saab for being our guest of honor, uh, an important and significant person for us who has worked on the national education policy, not in India, not in Karnataka, but also in USA and he is also the chairman of the scientific review committee. So it will go a long way in augmenting our dispersed house in India, particularly in JNK, where school education and education at large is in shambles. But it is only the national education policy which has united us, which has made us on one platform. And nowadays, we are not here to complete our syllabi and make our monthly or yearly exams. We have to prepare our generation, next generation, as a full-fledged citizens, full-fledged ambassadors of education because it is the only department which can put an end to the poverty, which can bring prosperity and education is not meant only to earn our livelihood. We have to complete this code of conduct in our lifetime. We have to be true citizens, we have to be obedient uh, children of our uh, parents and we have to contribute towards the upliftment of the society because activity based education and other related things it has put all the stakeholders on toes whether it is a teacher who has to go for a biometric attendance and ensure his or her presence in the classroom not as a parent but as a mentor of the classroom as a mentor of the education department we have an added responsibility to work as teachers, as parents, as mentors of students. Because the last 100 years we have education system that we have received from the uh, foreign countries. India was ruled for 190 years by the British, by the English. And it was only the, that system which prevailed. We got that in legacy. But what we have to do is now, there was a slogan in my childhood, give me a child, I will give you a man. But that man has created destruction outside the school. Now the slogan should be, give me a child, I will give you a human being. A human being who loves his country, who loves his homeland, who loves his parents, who gives due respect to his teachers, who takes care of his siblings, who does not ignore his or her parents in the old days. I will not appreciate that kind of education that we become doctors, engineers and we leave our parents in old age home. We have to inculcate the sense of longingness in our students, <coughs> prepare them for a big struggle. It is not that we give 100 by 100 to a student and make him happy, his parents happy, his school may 100 by 100. No, that is not the real education. The real education is that we have to make our students prepare for a national struggle, for a big struggle, for a big parade forum, in need or in IAS or in KS exam, lakhs of people in a, uh, appear, but the results are very miserable. So we have to improve and fine tune the skills of our child in a better way and take full control and charge of this in a classroom where we can nab that person who is not interested in the education or who makes any such activity in the classroom which derails the you know, system of the class. We can see people inclined with the mobiles, the laptops and the onslaught of network of you know, this uh, computer, uh, in this, um, this Facebook and other activities. These have totally cost upon the uh, vitals of our society or bache jo drug management hai, we have to prevent that, we have to make people inclined, students inclined towards the sports activities, debates and I was proposing it to Warsaw also that national education policy has an inclusive you know, chapter in it that all stakeholders, whether they are private schools, there are government schools, the monopoly system has been abolished now. In Kashmir, which does not have a student or a teacher or an ex-student. So everyone is a beneficiary of this education department. 
particularly for women there is a good audience from women you have an added responsibility you have to walk an extra mile because you have been bestowed by the almighty with such traits which are not found in men you have a motherly treatment as a teacher you can own any child or daughter in the sense ki if he or she does not fall in line with the classroom or has some difficulties so you can be ambassadors for those students who are poor who are orphan or who lack some qualities which are not expected of them so ultimately what i want to convey my point is ki education is only parent forum which can guarantee that the poverty eradicates that light of education reaches to every home and no one is left on the road side because of poverty because of ignorance or because lack of concentration so i will once again thank dr kazi azhar sir for his efforts for his contribution to the education sector war sahab private schools association teachers lecturers everybody i am not a speaker and <laughs> i don't want to take much of your time i have to attend some marriage ceremony and all that but whatsapp has requested me and i had no option than to accept this invitation i am highly thankful to all of you for bearing me for some time lekin ek sher mein jaate jaate bata dunga that will make some in a sense also mita de apni hasti ko agar kuch martaba chahiye ki dana khak mein milkar gule gulzar hota hai we get say in count patterns ki those who are on the highest tiers whether he is a king he is a president he is a pm he is a cm he is a dm those people have worked very hard it's not that you just go and stand up and become a hero or a you know a dignitary or celebrity it's a hard work they have to burn it midnight oil to these those people so we should be in any areas but at least we should look to our in our own uh, self and contribute it from our home because charity always begins from home so i salute all teachers i have been an all round advocate free of cost to every teacher to every school owner to every in a stakeholder even a bus driver who ferries students from home to school and school to home he too is a stakeholder because without him we cannot dream of a good schooling uska bhi contribution hai even orderly peon who can i alarm us the and i a bell or who opens the gate he is also contributed so together this is happiness i wish all of you grand success because education department is the only department which is mother of all departments if you don't have education department it is a mob of departments so i appreciate you once again all for a card walk an extra mile see the results see the satisfaction see the sleep you get good night sleep after you help some poor some ignorant or you teach any boy or girl so ultimately it is up to almighty that he has placed us here he will test us he will judge us and he will inshallah reward all of you including me thank you